Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great and having an amazing day. Now in this video, I'm gonna be maxing my town. Finally, I'm gonna do the last upgrade and I'm really excited because I've been upgrading my town, like I've been playing my town since three years. And um, it's been a long time and my reputation level currently is 44. And you guys can see here is one of my favorite events. This is my favorite event in the game, which is Town Wizard Double XP and Reputation Points. Now let's go to the town and have a look what's going on. And I have also decorated my town, you guys can see, with the Christmas stuff that I bought some days ago. So now I'm going to be collecting the townies, so you guys are going to see how much XP I'm going to make. I'm close to level up, and the town's going to help me really much. Now you guys can see my reputation level is 44, and I'm in half to go to 45, which is going to come slowly. So this event is really helpful. It really helps me to level up in the town and in the farm as well. Now I'm going to be maxing my town today in front of you guys. I'm going to be upgrading my last building which is Diner and which is I think one of the most difficult buildings to upgrade because it needs planks and screws and these things are always very hard for me to get. So, alright, let's wait. Let's see. All right, guys, you can see that I have collected my townies, and I've also collected way too much XP, so I only need 45,000 more to level up. Now, this is my last building to upgrade in the town, just diner, and I only need, um, let's have a look. I need 14 pin buckets and 15 screws in order to upgrade the diner, and I'm, I'm currently upgrading the coins tab. If you guys watch my town, guide video you will come to find out that why am i upgrading the, the, the coins tab at the last which is least important so now i'm actually gonna go ahead and get some tools and i'm gonna be doing my last upgrade i'm gonna show you guys how did i upgrade my town all right guys let's get some tools all right guys now i'm gonna get the tools in order to upgrade my last building which is diner let's go in here and check out Alright, so I'm here, I'm gonna get some tools. Okay, now I need um, five more screws, I'm gonna get them as... Alright guys, here I am, and let's get some screws. Yay, finally I have enough tools, gonna go back to my farm, I'm gonna go to town, and upgrade the last building, and I'm so excited, like, I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time, the day when I finally max my town. Oh my god, you guys see this? It's going to be the last upgrade of my town. After this upgrade, all the town tools are going to be useless for me unless I'm going to trade them. Okay, here we go. Finally, the town is fully maxed. Okay, I'm so happy you guys cannot even imagine though. Alright, level 38 is the final max level of each building. You guys can see bed and breakfast, max as well. Sabai is also max. Gift shop, max. My cinema is max as well, grocery store is max as well, and beach cafe is also max. So here's my train station, which is max, and it brings 40 new visitors every six hours. My person train is also max. So you guys can see that my town is totally max now, and I finally reached the stage where the town tools become useless for me. Now, how did I get so many tools to upgrade um, my town buildings? Now, first of all, I play the game regularly. That is a very important step. I played the town, I served the visitors, I regularly played the town, and I served three um, times a day, all the townies from my personal train, and I got so many tools from there. So you will stop complaining when you play the town, because you're gonna get a lot of tools from there. Now you guys can see that I even have some town tools here that I've stored. Now you guys can see 40 hand drills, 31 stone blocks, 21 um, hammers. So these are all currently useless for me. And now I'm gonna trade them. I can actually trade these. So I can also trade these town tools. I, I can give this to the persons who are currently upgrading the town or who need them and I can get exchange um, these barn or silo tools. But since the hate has added the 80 limits, it's been really frustrating. A lot of players have actually quit trading. Now, I know the reason behind adding the 80 limits, but I also think, at the same time, I also think it's it, it's playing a very negative role in the game. 
Like, I personally do not like this. Don't get me negative, you guys. I really don't like this 80 limits, and I kind of think it's useless. But anyways, I'm not complaining or doing anything like that. But since the hater has added this limit, um, my, 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 my reduction and also my upgradation time has been reduced, like, such a long time. Like, I used to upgrade my really faster before Haiti added this limit, but now I'm going to have to wait and see that either my upgrade is happening or not. Because sometimes it happened that I was close to buy some tools, but I missed them just because of this limit, and we don't even know that we have reached the limit. Now, how did I upgrade so fast, you guys? Actually, I used to trade. I traded a lot, and yes, I do trade sometimes. What I did... So you guys can see I have very many tapes and bolts, and I personally got them from Playing Town. I'm not complaining. I am not even lying, you guys. I didn't buy these tools, okay? I got them from the game, and I traded them on the Facebook with the people that currently sell town tools, and they need barn tools. So the trade is always the best option, unless, you know, you're trading with a trusted person, so don't trade with any stranger that you don't know, because people can scam you as well. So I traded them, and I got town tools in exchange for my barn and tile tools, and in this way, I got my tools and upgrade my buildings but the number one thing is obviously you have to play the game regularly in order to get the tools but second option is trading you can exchange things you can also exchange with your neighborhood because my neighborhood is very helpful and they always help people so you guys can see the shop is full let's see if i can buy something oh my gosh someone already got that anyways no problem so yeah my town is fully maxed and i'm really happy and now i finally reached that stage where the town tools are useless for me and I'm just going to be trading them with some other stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more header videos. And also keep an eye out for sneak peek number two, which is coming out soon. And I'm so excited for the update. Thanks for watching.